नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छु आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल हियर डियर सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स नो हेड इन द लास्ट सप्लीमेंट्री लेसन द बुक दैट सेव द अर्थ व्हिच इज रिटन बाय क्लेयर बोइको हियर ही हैज रिटन directly indirectly two different situations one is the situations of 20th century we are in 21st century very near to our time duration what can be at present and next to that one new time he has mentioned and that is of 25th century near about uh, 500 years after what would be the condition in the earth on this planet that he has mentioned okay few characters are there main characters are first one is historian he explains the history next to that one is great and mighty think tank he is mighty powerful strong stout and uh, his name indicates that he is the man of intellect next to that is lieutenant spelling is different pronunciation is different keep this in your mind captain omega lieutenant e ota sergeant of especially this two are sergeant of and lieutenant yoda they are she these two are he and uh, next to that one uh, one more thing is there off stage out of the stage sound will come sometime uh, when it is required to indicate some actions in front of the audience at the time it is uh behind the curtain also it can be written behind the curtain voice will come and that is another character if you will think think it but the these all are from the mars space center these all characters these situations what they discuss here they all are having talk from the mars space center they are on the visit of the earth why they have come here only and only to rule over this planet earth then what happened that only the book that saved the earth from the rule of the mars space center how and why it is let's go ahead you see uh, the time is uh, 25th century places the museum of ancient history department of uh, 20th century on this planet earth what's there before the rise of the curtain what's the condition what's the situation that is you know here spotlight shines in spotlight the light is on on the historian who is sitting at the table down towards the right direction on the stage on which is a movie projector one projector is there on the projector they are seeing a film a sign on a easel backside her reads museum of ancient history department of the 20th century and she stands and moves to the audience why now the action starts in such a way and the history starts how why the action is in front of them with the projector you see here good afternoon welcome to our museum of ancient history and to my department uh, curiosities of the good old good old curiosities you may have and let's go ahead with the good old uh far of 20th century far of 20th century means 500 years back let's go ahead we will move ahead but backward side 500 years because at present you are in the 25th century we are talking about 20th century okay the 20th century was often called as the era of the book because so many books are published and uh, all the knowledge spheres are covered with the presentation in books so that 20th century 
is known as the era of books. So that let's move ahead back in the 20th century where books were there with the knowledge. There were books about everything from anteaters to Zulus. Books taught people how to and when to and where to and why to do, what to do. Everything it teaches to the human being. They illustrated, explained books, educated, punctuated, and even decorated people. But the real reality is what? But uh, the sergeant, but the strangest thing a book ever did was to save the earth. Strange thing, a book can save the earth? Not at all possible, but here it is possible. How it is? You have not heard about uh, the Martian in reason of uh, 2024. Have you seen it? Tusk, tusk. What do they teach children nowadays? Do you know? Well, you know, the invasion never really happened because a single book stopped it. What was the book? You ask? A Nobel Encyclopedia. The word is Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia means what? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia means the book that contains everything. If you want to know something about human physiology, human body, Scientific world, ancient world, new world, each and everything is mentioned here in Encyclopedia. And that book only saved the earth. A tone about rockets and missiles, a secret file from the outer space? No, it was none of this. Missile, bomb, this and that. No, 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 nothing. Nothing. Secret file was there? No, that was also. But there, but here, let me turn on the hystroscope. Thetoscope, microscope, hydroscope. That give you idea about the history in detail. Hystroscope and show you what happened many centuries ago before 500 years in 2040. The time is 20th century plus 2040. This is the time. And here we are in 25th century. What's the difference in between this two time period that is mentioned over here? She turns on the projector and points in that spotlight on the historian goes out and comes up down left on the think tank who is seated on a raised box arm folded arms are folded think tank is on a big box this is the scene how where all these characters were adjusted at a place on the stage that you will come to know through the projector it is in front of you and the historian she manages that projector he has a huge egg-shaped head if you will see in your textbook uh, you will come to know egg-shaped equivalent to egg you will see in your textbook the pages where think tank is there, okay, equivalent to air, egg shaped hair, and he wears a long robe decorated with the stars and 
circles, apprentice, apprentice, noodle. Uh, what is uh, here missing? And this is noodle. He is apprentice. Apprentice is equal to servant. Okay. Uh, stands beside him at an elaborate switchboard design on an easel fits. What's there? Mars Space Center. The same thing is here. Great and mighty think tank is there. Who is he? Commander in chief. Bow low before entering to all. Bows down to all. Then afterwards, Noodle bowing to the think tank. Oh, great and mighty think tank, most powerful and intelligent creature in the whole universe. What are you, others? Through this dialogue, we come to know that great and mighty think tank is all and so in the universe, not on this planet Earth, but in the universe, he is mighty and everything. Think tank, privation, angrily, tells him, You left out part of my salutation. What work I had given to you, you know, kept remaining some part of that work. Now, Apprentice Noodle, go over the whole thing once again, complete that work. Noodle says, It shall be done, sir, in a sing song within short spell of time. Oh, great and mighty thing a ruler of Mars. Who is great and mighty thing a ruler of Mars, who rules the entire Mars, and so that he is in the Mars space center. Ruler of Mars and her two moons. Uh, whenever you are indicating planet or anything else at the time, keep in your mind that it is always indicated with a she. And based on this basic principle, the question that was asked last year in the board examination also. So many people wrote it, but actually it should not be it, it should be she. What the idea? Most powerful and intelligent creature in the whole universe, out of the breed. What are your orders? Please tell me. Now think and says, that's better, Noodle. I wish to be placed in communication with our manship prop to that ridiculous fun. Little planet, ridiculous little planet is equal to this earth. We are going to put under our generous rulership. Generous rulership we want to capture. We want to grab that planet Earth under our jurisdiction. What do they call it once again? Tell it to me again. Noodles say Earth, 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 Earth. Your intelligence, Earth. Think things, yes, yes, of course, the Earth. You see how insignificant the place is. Earth is bogus, insignificant here. But first, Something important, my mirror, I wish to consult my mirror first, what they want, according to that, we will move ahead, Noodle says, it should be done, sir, he has a think tank, a mirror, and something he keeps in front of, think tank, mirror, think tank, mirror, mirror, in my hand, not in your hand, in my hand, who is the most uh, fantastically, intellectually, gifted being in the land. Now, off stage voice behind the curtain, the sound comes after a pause. Sir, you are only, you only, sir. Think then, smaking near, quicker, answer quicker next time. I hate a slow mirror. Who gives me reply? Little late, no, 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 I don't want that mirror. I want quick mirror who answers me very quick. 
quickly he admires himself in the mirror ah oh, there i am are we martians martians must those were the mars not a handsome race we are really handsome so much more attractive than those ugly earthlings earthlings is equal to those who are living on earth martians those who are living in mars these two buildings often only will have keep this in mind with their tiny heads noodle you keep on exercising your mind and someday you will have a balloon brain just like my head shape Noodle, oh, I hope so. I did think that I hope so that I also may have seen how you are having intellectual, intellectual mind like that. I think that now contact the space probe. Ah, I want to invade the art primitive, primitive, so ancient ball of mud called the Earth before the lunch. Before our lunch, you will find out where is the earth, that ball, earth. Noodle, I shall be done, sir. He adjusts levers on the switchboard, electronics, buzzes, and bees are heard as the curtain opens. Then, of course, what happened? That we will come to know little by little. Till that, just whatsoever you want to write down, write down from the Board, so that when you read this drama, you will feel a little bit easy with the same. Thank you. Thanks a lot to you all. Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining us.